But that happens actually happens quite a bit when I when I see patients and they're there uh, many times the people are feeling anxious or depressed and they come and it's work centered. And when mm -hmm. you dig a little bit different than uh, uh, dig a little bit deeper, then you find out it's actually more value centered mm -hmm. so that they don't Ooh. feel like they are being valued or that they're not getting the approval that they need or the support that they need, or it's all about their value, which then leads, like you said, into their peace. And I tell them mm -hmm. always protect your peace. It's very important for you uh, to feel valued, but it has to start with you value yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then, so you've got lots of choices. If you feel like, you know, if you, if you feel fear to get out of a situation, you know, that, that is very valid. But you have to look at the value of yourself and your worth and your time and your efforts and and see where that is best served. It's always best served in, in you mm -hmm. and what you're doing for yourself. So if you're scared to take a leap and, and get out, and this is where all the regrets coming back to our, our topic, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's about looking forward, not looking back. back. And just yes. Sure that you are valuing yourself and your time because it is valuable. So, you know, some people need to face the situation, fix the situation that they're in. If they feel like they can't fix the situation they're in, they may need to look for and take a leap elsewhere. But, uh, you know, be brave and, and, mm. and realize that you do deserve uh, better for yourself and whatever that means. Just yeah. add it to your day and do it. I, I do believe if you have to look within because even if you leave and you haven't looked at within, right. you're still taking that same place to the next place. Mm -hmm. And so people treat you how you treat yourself. Absolutely. So if you walk in feeling and walking and, and acting as the victim or someone needing to be validated, mm -hmm. guess what? Guess what? Guess what? No matter where you go, they may not do it. They may you not be do okay it. with that. You got to yeah. be okay. And it starts with you. I know my value. It, you right. have to know your value. Absolutely. So, Day, I see you want to come in out and take a little bit of this. Go ahead, Day. Yeah. So, it's, you know, I, I love that Dr. Pinkson closed it out with being bold and believing in yourself because I think that where this person is, she has been beaten down on her belief system. Mm -hmm. She's, she was looking for someone else to validate her, and that made her feel. Like she wasn't valued. And mm -hmm. so she let that be the definition of that for her mm -hmm. and not believe in herself. I think she's, she has to trust and believe that she can do something different and it's going to be okay. And she mm -hmm. will succeed. Mm -hmm. And it's like you talked about, it's never too late. Even if you've been in that situation for 10, 15 years and you want something different, you have to believe that you can do it and just go for it. Yes. I mean, what, and sometimes you what you have no I mean, what's the harm in, in trying, you know, so and sometimes you just have to take the the a leap of faith, the jumping into the blind and the unknown, True. because that in itself, I believe, is going to be the most reward. I'm not saying go just do something crazy. Don't quit. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Put a little money, do something, you know, I'm yes. not saying that, but I am saying <laughs> there are times when you actually have to jump out there. Yeah. There are times you're going to have to say, mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. <laughs> I need something different. And you have to just go for it. Believe yeah. in yourself. Believe yes. in yourself.